Hi guys, Doyle Dykes here, of course, and this is a not a Doyle Dykes model. This is a Chet Atkins model Gibson guitar, and this is one of his. And uh, he gave it to me a long time ago, and uh, 30 years ago, in fact. Uh, it's amazing now that I look at this. Uh, but Chet was a mentor, and I was able to get to know him and be on some shows with him. And... <clears throat> he was an amazing man, amazing guitar player. And he designed this guitar, but because it's so different, it is a solid body. Um, it's chambered, of course, to make it lighter. Nylon string guitar, and it sounds brilliant. Now, what I did was crank up the highest some on this because it's a basic guitar. And get more lows out of it if you like, but... play this on this guitar. Great with this pedal, guys.
This pedal is a, is the perfect match for this guitar. It really is. Hi guys, I just got this guitar in. It's a, a new example of a guitar that I actually uh, helped to design a few years ago. This is a Doyle Dykes model Godin guitar, so it's a thin line. And I just wanted to pair it up with the acoustic pedal. So we'll do a little bit on this.
bikes here. And this is my Olsen. This is a 1991, and uh, it's a little different than my other Olsons. I have a Brazilian rosewood and then one uh, made out of Pernambuco with a spruce top. The Brazilian has a cedar top. This is unusual. I didn't order it, but I mean, uh, this, like I say, is an older one, but it's a great guitar. It's a lot of fun to play. It's maple with a cedar top. So it has a brighter sound, and so uh, I think it really needed this pedal to be able to use it on stage. I actually hadn't played this song in years until just a few days ago. My grandson uh, said, Poppy, do they actually play your songs in, in Disneyland? And they, they do, I understand. If you look on the internet, I guess they still do. Uh, but at the uh, Wild Disney's uh, Adventures or Disney's Wild Ad uh, California Adventures, I think it is. And so they play this song called Battle in the Valley of Elah. And it has some octave things. <laughs> and all. It's called Battle in the Valley of Elah. But uh, when I was playing this recently on stage, you know, I just couldn't get out of this guitar what I needed for that. Then I, I tried this pedal when it came in. I'm going, oh my lord, there it is. And so what I did was crank the bass up here. And everything else is um, 
pretty much straight up here. Uh, I mean, there's a little boost on the mids here. Uh, that's about it. And so uh, I mean, it just gives a great sound. I'm going through the effects loop uh, through an old RE20 uh, Boss pedal. And, uh, and you can set the, uh, the speed. And I'll use a Hall of Fame a little bit on some things. But right now, just use a little echo. And so having a lot of fun, we'll do some more. Hi guys, this is another one of my Olsons. This one is uh, actually Brazilian Rosewood with a cedar top. Uh, I turned the mids down a little bit and uh, also the highs a little bit uh, and left the bass and everything else where it was. Um, yeah, it's a great... to find a happy medium with this. this kitchen and uh, I have it set pretty you know in the middle kind of pointed like this because uh, you know you want it to cut through especially if there's a band but Got a little bit more bass and a little less trip having 
having fun with a new acoustic pedal. Well, hi folks, this is a Doyle Dykes model Gill guitar. And it has an LB6 pickup, Lloyd bags, but it also, just like the Olsons, but this one has uh, an EQ system here, so. I'm going through two amps, and that's what I do uh, most of the time. I'll actually go through the uh, Crush Acoustic, and also the Acoustic, uh, or the uh, Crush Pro, rather. And sometimes I'll use the Trim Lord 30 because it's all tube, and I love the tube along with the, uh, with the, the acoustic amp. <laughs> flat here and also on this amp. I think I may have the, the highest down. But you can also, if I turn the volume up a little more body, and just adjust the amp a little bit. Add a little more uh, on the uh, on the, the mid. slower song like this. Hi guys, this uh, is a D3512, uh, or something like that, D, uh, yeah, D30, or D1235, something like that, but it's a D35 guitar, uh, 12 string, Brazilian Rosewood. <laughs>
12 string guitar. I love it for finger saw. Or strumming. I mean, it just sounds good on everything. But uh, I changed my bass strings around so you get a little more lows out of it. I've got the lows cranked up here. The mids just a little bit. Everything else is pretty much right down the middle. Same on the amps here. Tell you what, this uh, this pedal makes all the difference in the world because you can get uh, such uh, dynamics out of it, and it and it and it separates it well. Works really, really good on a real acoustic twelve-string guitar. It's incredible.